up, Drama Alert Nation? I'm your host, Ty Blue, and today we have some pretty big stories to cover, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now, guys, this first one is ridiculous. We actually have another streamer who has been swatted, that being Alfie Rules, a RuneScape streamer that's pretty close to 40,000 followers on Twitch. All of this going down very early yesterday morning. Here's the clip. Uh, okay, so... No, uh... Uh, I, I'm live streaming and they called SWAT, apparently. Oh my it, was, it was a fake call. What happened? It's a fake call in. It wasn't me, I'm live streaming. I, I'm, I'm streaming to a bunch of people. Know about the call? Because they said it in my chat. They said, have you ever been SWATed before? Look, somebody in the chat said, coming in your windows, and then, uh, uh, have you ever been SWATed out any rules? Have you ever been SWATed? And then that, that's my Twitch name. Well, I'm, how do I'm you here. know that that means that these guys are calling in this? Hey, are you live right now? Yeah, I am. Can, Can you hear us? Take us off? Yeah, yeah. Just absolutely insane, dude. Like, obviously, this is nothing new. This sort of thing is pretty common nowadays. I guess at least they didn't full on kick down his fucking door or anything, but. Still, I, I feel sorry for the guy. All right, now this next one is coming from Philly D, who apparently got stuck in France due to a strike. He said this. Was about to board our plane to Ireland, but apparently the refueling staff just went on strike. What? LOL, fuck me. And oh wow, just looked it up, and as of an hour ago, it looks like France Air Traffic Control went on strike for possibly 36 more hours. <laughs> Jesus, that would suck so bad, but it looks like the airport got everything worked out and he made it to Ireland. Okay, so this next one is coming from Hollow Point, who about a week ago had some pretty funny stuff happen in one of his videos. Apparently while he was typing in poop on his PlayStation, it auto-suggested Pornhub. <laughs> and of course, all of his viewers caught this and roasted him pretty hard in the comments. Which is crazy because it was literally only on his screen for like a fraction of a second. But yesterday, he finally responded to the comments in a video saying, yes, you caught him. At some point in the past, he may have used his PlayStation for something other than gaming. Which, come on guys, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, everybody's gotta play with their joystick every once in a while. <laughs> I'm sorry, let's move on. Alright, so this next one is pretty serious and it's coming from Vitaly who may be spending some time behind bars. He said this on Twitter, I am going to jail. Now, I'm not sure if he's completely serious or what. He hasn't really given out any more details yet. But due to his recent stunts climbing the Hollywood sign and shrieking the NBA Finals, it's a very real possibility. All right, next up, this one again is coming from the CSGO gambling community. Now, again, I'm going to preface this by saying that these are just allegations, AKA someone accusing someone else of doing something that hasn't 100% been proven yet. Now, with that being said, this one is directed at T. Martin and Syndicate. Eight Thoughts tweeting at T. Martin saying this. Damn, dude, you little scumbag at T. Martin. You own a CSGO gambling website and then pretend to win money to get people to gamble on your website? T. Martin responding with, yes, I own the site. That's not a secret. Where's the proof that I faked winning? Eight Thoughts saying, watch the video on Honor the Call's channel. T. Martin then saying, I did. He stated I own the site. Yes, I do. That's not a secret. That doesn't mean my videos were fake. The video he's referring to is coming from a channel known as Honor the Call, basically pointing out that T. Martin and Syndicate have both made videos winning large amounts from a gambling website that they both personally own. Of course, to me personally, T. Martin and Syndicate seem like really honest stand-up guys, and whether these allegations really hold any truth or not, is pretty much anyone's guess. So again, just allegations, all right? It's really fucking sad that I have to emphasize that so hard. Okay, anyway, this one's coming from Pomage and Embos, who had a little wager over a pool match, and Pomage ended up losing two grand. Embos posting this on Twitter. I want it right now, PayPal, you know the drill. <laughs> Give me my two. Thousand, baby, come on. Pomage then tweeting out that he did in fact pay up with the two grand. Okay, so this last one is pretty crazy and it's coming from Quebble Cop, who apparently has unwanted fans showing up at his house. He responded to a fan's parent that said this. Hi, my son is your biggest fan. Came from India only to meet you for one minute. Going back in three hours, can we please meet? Thanks a ton. Jordy saying, no, coming to my house uninvited is considered rude. And these people came to my house yesterday and rang the doorbell multiple times even though I said no. Then continuing with, unless someone invites you, you should never go to their home for their privacy and your own safety. And guys, obviously it's never okay to show up at your favorite YouTubers private residence. I know they may seem like a dick when they turn you away, but you kind of got to put yourself in their shoes, right? Like with all these crazy ass people in the world and then they have people showing up to their house, not to mention they get death threats like 
all the damn time. It's fucking scary. So maybe don't do that anymore. All right, that's all the news we've got for today. Guys, if you enjoyed Drama Alert, do me a favor and give this video a like. As some of you may already know, Keem will be returning as host of Drama Alert here pretty soon. I probably have a couple more videos left with you guys, but I just wanted to say thank you for having me. And as always, this has been your host, Ty Blue, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Oh, man. Thanks for the heads up, Hollow Point. Better go clear my console search history. <laughs>